Okay, let's talk about college algebra and how to get help in this course. So if you're watching this video, I assume you are taking college algebra, that's excellent. And as the name implies, college, right? Uh, college algebra is um, a very, very common course that uh, is typically at the freshman uh, year of college or community college. So um, it's basically equivalent to high school algebra two, more or less. Okay, but there are some distinct uh, differences. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you some tips if you're struggling in college algebra uh, that is going to help you out. Okay, but before we get started, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over the last several years, I've constructed many, many online math courses to include college algebra. So if you want to check out my full, uh, complete college algebra uh, course, I'm going to leave a link uh, to that in the description of this video. It can really help you out um, uh, as you get through your own college algebra you know, curriculum. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into how to get help uh, with college algebra. All right, so a couple things here. Obviously, I mentioned that I have a, a full uh, college algebra um, uh, course, online course. But, you know, you're in a course right now. You're out of school and, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you, right? So a couple of things here. Let's just first quickly um, understand college algebra. So like I said, college algebra, for the most part, is the same as uh, high school algebra two, more, uh, more or less, okay, more or less. Kind of think of it in that way. So uh, if you took... Um, uh, high school algebra two, and most of you should have, being that you're, um, you know, taking college algebra, you know, you're, you're going to see a lot of those same topics. Okay, so uh, the first thing is just know that you, you know, this shouldn't be completely foreign to you, right? You're not talking about calculus or anything else along those lines. But here's a couple big differences. Um, college algebra could tend to be a little bit more advanced. Okay, now. I'm, not every every university's college algebra is going to be different from you know each other uh, slightly, okay. And everyone's high school algebra two experience is going to be slightly different. So this is doesn't match up perfectly, but college algebra tends to be a little bit more complex uh, than algebra two. This is the trends that I've seen through many years, okay. Uh, the other uh, kind of uh, thing that makes this a big difference for most students out there is in college algebra is uh, generally a semester class where algebra two in high school is a one year course. Okay. So you can kind of see what's going on here. You're taking kind of a one year course and you're compressing it into a semester. All right. And it's also a little bit complex. So what I've seen uh, through the years is that, you know, uh, students get you know, overwhelmed pretty quickly when they get into college algebra if you're not ready for it, okay? And uh, also, um, it's not a critique of, you know, your particular school, your particular experience, but some of the, uh, especially the online material that I've seen for college algebra, is it's not as thorough as um, I personally would, would like to see, certainly not like maybe like my program, okay? You need a lot of explanation, especially in, in mathematics if that's not your thing. And, you know, if you're, you know, a couple years away from taking Algebra two and you're in college algebra and you're learning advanced, you know, logarithms and matrices and stuff, and your teacher is going super fast and they are going very quick, you know, it's so easy to get lost, okay? So this is a very common course where um, students struggle and even, you know, even good students, okay? It doesn't make a difference. I know you're trying, you're doing everything, you know, but maybe you feel like you're kind of drowning. So I just want to let you know that that's kind of a normal um, experience for a lot of students out there. And, and I just wanted to give you some context on why that, you know, could be, right? You're taking a, a year-long course, you're compressing it into a semester. Generally speaking, if you're, you're taking college algebra for a full year, that's different. But most college algebra courses I've seen have been uh, a semester long, okay? All right, so just a little context so we know what we're kind of talking about here. But let me erase this, and now let's talk about what you need to do, okay? So the first thing is uh, I always like to start when you are uh, or any student taking a math class and they got a real challenge, okay, and you need help. 
the first thing is you got to check your mindset, okay? Your mindset. Your mindset has to be of one of like, okay, you have to make a determination right now, okay, especially early on in school year if you still have a lot of time remaining. And if you don't have a lot of time remaining, that's 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 fine too because your mindset is going to be the biggest thing that's going to help you, okay? It's going to start with you, okay? What thoughts are you putting into your brain. If it's more like, uh, I can't do this, I'm going to fail, um, panicked, I can't, you know, I'm struggling, no one's helping me, da, 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 da. If this is your mindset, guess what? That's exactly what's going to happen, okay? You're not going to make it. So your mindset needs to be focused on, you know, solutions. Like, I need to figure this out, you know, uh, I'm going to pass, I'm going to do whatever it takes. So make sure your mindset, you know, what you're thinking about, you know, in terms of college algebra, if you're struggling with it, you know, really just commit to doing whatever you have to do to succeed. Okay. And there are some real concrete things that you can do. Okay. So first things first is your mindset. All right. Second thing is going to be, uh, your teacher. All right. How much time are you spending with your teacher? All right. You got to reach out to your instructor, right? Reach out. Hey, I'm struggling. Uh, raise your hand, you know, uh, email, whatever, you know, your situation, if you're doing distance learning and whatnot. So the, the, it should kind of go like this. The, if you're doing, you know, poorly, if you're doing worse and worse and worse, right? If you're going down, 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 your time with your teacher should be going up and up and up. <laughs> okay. So that's kind of the deal. If you're doing great in the course, you're probably not spending much time with your teacher. If you're doing poorly, you know, you're really struggling with the course, you should try to get as much time as possible with your teacher. And your instructor has an interest in, you know, helping you, all right? You're, you, they only got a limited amount of time, okay? And your instructor, believe me, wants to spend time with those students that really need uh, uh, his or her help uh, the most, okay? So reach out to your teacher, let them know. They already know your grades, obviously. They see what's going on. But you have to show initiative that you care about passing. Hey, what can I do? Can, you know, uh, can I retake a quiz? Look, here's a, th a little trick, okay? I'm going to uh, give you a little inside tip about teachers. If a student asks a teacher, okay, can't, like, let's say you bombed a, a test or you, you, you really messed up a quiz, if you ask, even if the teacher doesn't invite it, but if just ask the teacher, hey, can I redo this test? Can I make up some uh, points on this quiz? Can I redo this? Can I redo that? Things that you don't think are their policy, just ask anyways. How can I raise my grade? What can I do here? Da, 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 da. Let me tell you something. You pester a teacher enough, <laughs> a lot of teachers are going to give you uh, ways, creative ways, kind of um, out of the box, kind of... Uh, a pass to increase your grade. Okay, I've seen it from time to time again. Not all the time, and it's not going to be, maybe it might just be marginally, but if you're persistent, okay, and you're actively, you know, seeking out uh, assistance from your teacher, okay, um, one, you need to understand, hey, what's going on? I'm lost here. Can you show me this? Can I raise my grade, etc.? Okay, so make sure you're interacting with your teacher because they're going to control your grade, they control, you know, everything, okay? So the two big things, you know, when it comes to that. The next thing I would say is get into some sort of study group. So study group, in other words, try to seek out, um, you know, students that you know are doing well, okay? And just kind of latch on to them <laughs> if you can, okay? So you know, partner up with somebody who really, you know, uh, and if you don't know, if you don't know of anyone, ask your teacher, hey, is there somebody you know in a class that, you know, is really good that you think might I might be able to work with or, you know, assist? Oftentimes your teacher will say, yeah, you know, this person is doing really good. You might want to see, you know, I'll talk to them and see if they can kind of help you out. There's all kinds of creative things, but you're not going to find out any of this unless you ask questions, okay? So a study group, try to find a study group. Now, if you're at the physical campus, study, you know, and you're into a physical, you're in a, going to a physical classroom with an actual teacher there, then it's going to be much easier uh, to do. But seek out people who are doing well and try to uh, see if you can kind of do your homework and study together. Don't be, you know, don't be a solo artist, if you will, um, when it comes down to this. All right, so what are some other things you can do? Well, you can uh, use a supplemental program 
like mine, okay? So I have a tab at Class Math Academy. Now, my program, uh, I taught this course, or right? it's complete, comprehensive, you know, full-on instruction, but you can use it as a supplement. So, for example, let's say your teacher is teaching about uh, logarithms and things like that, and you're just not getting it, and you're like, ah, I don't get this. Obviously, you're going to your teacher, you're trying to go to a study group, but let's say you know, you're, you can't get into a study group because one doesn't exist or your time, there's time conflict and maybe your teacher, you, you don't really quite understand them. Well, then try to find kind of a supplemental kind of tutorial type program online. So like the value of my program is you can go on there 24 seven and work at your uh, leisure. Okay. So kind of use it as a tutorial or complete full instruction, uh, somewhat of a, a re, I don't want to say a replacement, but if your teacher is teaching about logarithms and you don't get that, then you might want to find some other instruction to see if you can kind of connect the two, all right? Okay, so another thing you could do is look for a tutor, okay? Now, tutors can be very, very expensive. Um, now, how do you get tutors? Well, ask your teacher, See if there is a, uh, a math center, okay? Uh, generally speaking, all colleges have some sort of math center, and then other might be graduate students or uh, other college students that are really good in math that can act as a tutor. Oftentimes, it could be free at, a, um, at least uh, for my university. You know, uh, you can go into the math help center, sit down, and some someone could help you out, et cetera. Or you can actually hire a uh, another um you know, a student who's really good at that and maybe, you know, pay. So yeah, you know, they're, you're going to have to make some investment sometimes, but if you need a tutor, you can get, um, they can be effective, but here's the problem with a, a tutor, right? One, uh, the big, probably the biggest problem with the tutor, all right, is, uh, well, there's two things. Okay. First of all, they are not generally speaking, actual teachers themselves. So their students, although they're good in math, they may not be a hundred percent on, you know, up to speed on all the topics. Okay. So, and that's not to say you shouldn't use them, but that's just kind of some of the uh, things you need to be aware of. The second thing is um, uh, is uh, their scheduling, right? Sorry about that. <laughs> kind of lost my frame of uh, mind there for a second. But is scheduling, right? So you can only meet with them maybe in a half hour, an hour, every other day. That's not going to be enough, okay? Especially with the pace that your class is going. So some an online program where you can log in, you know, 24 seven and stay on it as much as you uh, like is uh, more advantageous. You know, a tutor, these are things that are options that were available, only available to let's say students, you know, 20, 30 plus years ago uh, because there was no online type of thing. But today there's a lot of things that you can, you can, uh, you know, get assistance from, from an online standpoint. All right, a couple other things here real quick. Some real fundamental basic stuff uh, that you should already know, but let's just kind of stress it anyways, is notes. How is your note taking? All right, look at your notes and be honest with yourself. Are you doing the basic academic things correct? Okay. Do you have good notes? Are your notes sloppy? Are your notes like, are you not taking notes? Okay. Are you just kind of giving up? Your notes is probably one of the biggest primary indicators of how well you're going to do in a math class. So, uh, increase your note taking in terms of how, um, how good your notes are, right? The better your notes are, the better your grade and your better your understanding is going to be. Okay, that's an absolute uh, trend that I firmly believe as a math teacher for many, many uh, years, okay? So, huge thing. And then a couple other things here, the obvious stuff is homework, okay? Make sure you do all the homework, okay? And really put a lot of effort into it. If you don't understand, you gotta go ask your teacher, hey, I don't understand this homework, da, 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 da. I don't understand this. But you're not going to um, know what questions to ask if you aren't even doing the work. So you got to be honest with yourself, okay? You got to take a good look in the mirror here. Like, are you working hard enough in this class? Okay, are you really engaged? Do you have great notes? Are you trying to do all the homework? This goes back to your mindset, okay? Um, and if you're not working, if you're working hard, but you can work harder, then you need to work harder in this class. You're taking it out. You're taking a college level course. OK, um, you know, you're going to have to do what you have to do to pass. This isn't high school. It's not middle school. You're paying money for this. Your grades count. This is, you know, your you know, investment in your education, your career. So you got to do what you have to do. Right. So if you're working hard, that's good. But 
you need to work even harder, okay? So notes, homeworks, and then basically when it comes to quizzes and uh, tests, all right, you got to be fanatical about that. Pay attention to the teacher. Ask questions. Again, what, uh, you know, do we have a quiz coming up or what's going to be on a test? Do you think, do I, should I, you know, um, you know, do, do my notes look good? I mean, you, you have to be that, that student that just pesters your teacher. Okay. <laughs> and I'm telling you, I had those students that come to me, what about this? What about that? What about this? I'm like, boy, this person just always asking questions, but guess what? I always gave them information. Right. And oftentimes, you know, I tried to share this information with the rest of the class, but they even asked more questions. And it's almost like an intelligence gathering mission <laughs> on things. You'll be surprised that you can really, you know, find out much more about what's going on or, you know, how to prepare for a test quiz just by, you know, um, uh, asking questions to a teacher. Now, here's one last point. I'm going to wrap up this video here in a second. When you're when all the dust is settled and you get some sort of quiz grade uh, or test grade or final exam grade or whatever the case is, and you're right on the edge, right? Let's say your score is 78.9%. Uh, a teacher will look at your effort. How did this person, you know, you know, approach this course? Were they serious? Did they give it their best? You know, oftentimes a teacher will you know, I'm not implying that teachers cheat, but they do have a way of massaging the numbers, okay, maybe giving you a little bit more point value value on a particular question, maybe taking a little bit less off another question, because they know that, hey, look, this is 79. If they could get you to an 80% of B minus versus a C plus, they realize the impact this is going to have. But they're not going to do this for all students, okay? They're going to go look to see what they can do, take the extra mile in your situation, if you've showed that, if you've taken their class seriously and you did everything you could, okay, you're going to set yourself up for the best chances of your teacher having, <laughs> like a better word, some mercy on, on you when it comes to, you know, being really close. So that's why your attitude, your mindset, all of this plays into a, a huge, um, you know, it has huge impact on your overall grade. So again, these aren't guarantees, but just being a teacher, knowing how uh, most teachers are, okay, these are, these are some really solid things that you need to kind of evaluate. Hey, where am I at with all this? And then you got to be like, okay, college algebra, I'm just going to just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to pass this. I'm going to do, do well in it. You know, and just you got to have that 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 uh, mindset. Again, I'm going to leave a link to my full uh, college algebra uh, course in the description of this video. I uh, do complete instruction. I solve tons and tons of problems. There's videos that go over how to solve these problems. So um, I think you'll really like uh, what you see. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your college algebra course. Um, it is a uh, again, as I said. Uh, if you're struggling with it, don't feel bad. You know, it's a challenging course and there's a lot coming at you at a pretty quick pace. Hopefully this video helped you out. Definitely wish you all the best and have a great day.